Hello, in this video I'm going over Microsoft Enterprise Licensing. So before I get started I need to put some qualifications around this. This is really for Enterprise Licensing. It's um, really aiming towards the E5 and E3 CALs that Microsoft op uh, offers and their bundles. Um, I put together a infogram that will go over that kind of what these bundles entail. I should note that I'm not a licensing expert. Um, Microsoft changes things frequently, so please make sure to uh, uh, reach out to your licensing professional or somebody who really specializes on this. Really the point of this is to kind of give you a high level overview of how these bundles are working. So with all the qualifications out of the way, let's get started. So Microsoft Enterprise Licensing. Uh, I'm going to start really at the bottom on this one. Um, we have Intune. Intune is Microsoft's MDM product. Product. It's a patch management tool. Uh, it allows you to manage not just mobile devices, but uh, Windows 10 devices, non-domain join devices. Microsoft's kind of gearing this as a replacement for SCCM, although it's yet to be seen if it's going to be a replacement or a complement to it. Uh, Azure AD Premium or P1. So this is Microsoft's Azure AD uh, option. Now there's four of them and I'm skipping over the free version and the basic version because um, really if you're enterprise you want to go with at least a P1. Um, you can implement Exchange Online, single sign-on, all that with the free tier, but if you're an enterprise, you're going to want some of the features that at least P1 has. Some of those are self-service password reset, um, multi-factor authentication, uh, the application proxy, connect health, that's going to connect uh, or monitor the connection health between your on-prem and Azure AD synchronization, and conditional access by location, so you can enter in all of your um, uh, enterprise locations, the external IP address of those, and my and the MFA or multi-factor authentication will know where you're at, and it will not prompt you um, for MFA if you're at one of those locations. Now, Azure AD Premium 2 or P2 is everything that Azure AD 1 has, and it also includes identity protection. That's some AI that Microsoft builds in. So if one of your users uh, has their password compromised and it's on a, on a list someplace that's being sold, Microsoft can try to identify that and force a password reset. Uh, conditional access based on risk. So. P1 had conditional access based on location, based on risk. That means that uh, it's going to prompt a, prompt a user to uh, multi-factor authenticate if they're logging in from Minsk or someplace way where they shouldn't, they're not normally logging in. But it has enough intelligence where if they're logging in from home, maybe the first time they get MFA, but the next day when they log in, they don't because there's that intelligence there that says it's a low risk situation. Uh, privilege identity, that's where um, uh, if you want to give somebody uh, admin rights or above normal user rights, you can manage that. Um, so those are kind of the basic, where the starting point of where, uh, where these bundles begin. And I should note too, as I'm going through this, this is not all inclusive. I'm leaving out a lot of stuff. I have some links that I'll post um, that will have more detail. And they'll also outline where I got this information from. Now, the first bundle we're going to talk about is Enterprise Mobility Plus Security, or EMS E3. And what E3 is, is it's a combination of that Azure AD P1 and Intune plus uh, information protection, or DRM, and Microsoft Advanced Threat Analytics. Um, next, uh, the next bundle that Microsoft has is the EMS uh, E5, where that's including everything with E3. It's adding in Azure AD Premium 2, um, intelligent data classification, so uh, it, can, it can dynamically assign tags or whatever to the data that users are saving, and cloud app security. So those are the enterprise mobility bundles that Microsoft off offers. Uh, and if you're interested in any of these features, buying the bundle is obviously 
normally uh, less expensive than buying them outright or one at a time. So the next thing we'll talk about is the Office 365 licenses. And again, I'm skipping some of the lower ones, the E1s, E2s, um, going really towards the enterprise, which is the E3. So the Office 365 E3, that gives um, Office Pro Plus the ability uh, for users to use that. Um, SharePoint, Exchange, and Skype for Business are a few of the items that are listed in that. And that's really kind of an intro uh, for a lot of enterprises. The other product is the Office 365 E5, which includes everything that the E3 has, plus Skype for Business with a PSTN and, and a PBX calling, um, as well as uh, Power BI, and let's see what else, advanced personal and organizational analytics. So um, there's a lot of information out there again on, on what all that includes, but those are two of the main Office 365 um, products that a lot of enterprises use. Now, Microsoft loves bundles, and within the past, I think it was last month, maybe the month before, they announced Microsoft 365 E5 and the E3 Cal's. Uh, not that there's any confusion with that. Now we have Office 365 and Microsoft 365. What the Microsoft 365 bundles do uh, with the Enterprise E3, they're combining that Office 365 E3 and Enterprise Mobility Security E3, and they're putting those under one bundle. And the same with the E5, they're doing the same thing, but with EMS E5, and Office 365 E5. So this is why I made this infograph because if I tried to explain this without pictures, it's really hard to comprehend. Um, that's kind of a high level of what all those offer. Uh, I would suggest again, make sure to talk to a licensing professional uh, about the different options, make sure it's right for you. Also uh, be aware that there's a Windows E5 and E3 Cal that I didn't even bring up in this, but those are some other options, uh, the E3, uh, Windows E3 Cal is included with the Microsoft Enterprise E3 and the uh, E5. The Windows E5 Cal is in the Microsoft 365 Enterprise E5. I'm even confusing myself with that, but uh, that's that's it. That's the um, Microsoft bundle for E5 and E3 in a nutshell. I hope this clears things up on what Microsoft has to offer with their enterprise bundles. Thanks for watching.